Pluto is a distant, dim, and smaller heavenly body that was once one of the stars in our own local system. Despite this, recent and shocking assertions made by well-known space scientists Michio Kaku and Neil deGrasse Tyson have brought Pluto back into the spotlight. They suggested that this far-off object might be on a probable collision trajectory with Neptune. They are not merely speculating, they are advising that this minuscule world could be on a dangerous, direct path leading to a terrible collision with Neptune. However, how could that possibly occur? And what would happen if such a huge event actually occurred? Are we experiencing a bizarre cosmic illusion of some kind, or is something far more tangible and terrifying hurtling toward us? Pluto's orbit is frighteningly close to Neptune's. Kaku and Neil deGrasse Tyson are causing concern. If things change even slightly, we could be looking at a catastrophe on the planet. Might Earth be in danger as well? More importantly, what exactly is this cosmic event? Is it possible? Accompany us as we explore the conceivable effects of a Pluto-Neptune impact. Pluto, once a planet that was reclassified as a dwarf planet, continues to be a fascinating subject in the expansive cosmos. As can be seen, current theories from top-tier analysts say that Pluto's path is dangerously close to the planet Neptune. Space experts Michio Kaku and Neil deGrasse Tyson are both sounding the warning about a conceivable hazardous interaction between these two realities which could indicate a significant threat to Earth. However, how might such a scenario play out? Is it achievable? Pluto's voyage around the solar star is unlike that of any other celestial sphere in our planetary system. It takes an astonishing 148 Earth years to complete a loop. Since its discovery in 1930, it has not yet finished even just one cycle. However, the curiosity doesn't end there. Pluto's course is determined by its extraordinarily long route, a significant departure from the majority of planets rotating in a circle. What makes the path of Pluto even more remarkable is its tilt, which is 17 from the solar plane. The route Pluto traces is significantly more unusual in comparison to other planets. The eccentricity and tilt add layers of complexity to its orbital pattern. One of the most fascinating aspects of Pluto's orbit is its similarity to Neptune's. For approximately two years in each circuit, Pluto actually becomes nearer to the Sun than to Neptune, in opposition to what one might anticipate from their conventional placements of the planets. This raises the standard inquiry. Why haven't Neptune and Pluto collided? The explanation resides in the gravitational influences of the planets around bodies. Pluto's investigation into its trajectory started shortly after its revelation. Initially, astronomical researchers tried to understand its distinct path. Unlike the majority of planets with relatively smooth loops, Pluto's is in line with the plane of the Sun. Its root's sharp angle makes it stand out and has a sloppy layout. The enigma deepened with the knowledge that Pluto's orbit does indeed intersect Neptune's. Despite the fact that Pluto's path is steady, these inconsistencies stand as proof of the nuances of cosmic physics. The three-body conundrum in outer space entails figuring out how a trio of cosmic entities like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun move and affect each other through their gravitational pull. It's similar to predicting future alterations based on the initial positions and forces of mutual gravitation. In Pluto's case, this issue highlights how its motion, the loop of Neptune, and the Sun's pull work together in a web-like way. The expressions asynchronous VZK, orbital drift, and oscillation wobble are essential to unraveling this puzzle, as noted by astrophysics specialists. What maintains the planets in their circular configuration tracks is asynchronous oscillation. This phrase pertains to Neptune and Pluto and fundamentally means that when Pluto passes through Neptune's orbital path, it is situated at no less than a 90 angular separation from Neptune. This angular separation is vital in preventing their paths from clashing. In contrast, orbital drift refers to the vertical motion of a body as it revolves. This indicates that when Pluto is near Neptune or another vast world, it is significantly higher than their orbit tracks, adding an additional level of protection against potential crashes. 
An additional significant aspect of this discussion is the VZK Wobble, named for three researchers Kaku, Zeldovich, and Cooper who analyzed the spatial dynamics of cosmic entities. It has to do with how astronomical masses like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun exert pull on one another with their mass-based attraction. This influence determines how they move. In Pluto's instance, the VZK wobble provides an explanation for why its near-sun motion appears so erratic. Although Pluto's motion appears to be unstable, this wobble aids in keeping it flowing smoothly across vast durations. The VZK wobble demonstrates that, despite the cosmos appearing strange and chaotic, patterns and principles are still followed, maintaining a certain level of order. These factors contribute to maintaining Pluto's steady path, ensuring that it does not collide with Neptune or deviate from its usual course. The importance of this three-body interaction lies in grasping how space trajectories shift due to forces that intervene. Examining it teaches us more about Pluto, our group of planets, and even farther away stars and galaxies in general. Numerical estimates at the end of the 1980s demonstrated that, even though Pluto's orbit is strengthened by stabilizing attributes, it remains erratic. Small initial variances can produce dramatic divergences over centuries. Still, these orbital behaviors have been proven to astonishingly maintain equilibrium over extensive timelines. Assessing changes via later automated readings has helped us discover how the enormous planets Saturn, Jupiter, and Neptune have an impact. The rotation of Pluto around the Sun has its own unique orbital correlation with Neptune, in which for every two revolutions Pluto moves, Neptune earns three points. This synchronized relationship aids in maintaining Pluto's stability. Nevertheless, Neptune doesn't act on her own. Jupiter's enormous gravity benefits Pluto's path greatly, keeping it constant. Saturn also adds to the mix. Research reveals that Jupiter's colossal mass is powerful, enough to guarantee Pluto's path for possibly an extremely long time. It would appear that Jupiter, Neptune, and all of Saturn are cooperating to ensure that Pluto glides smoothly without coming into contact with hazards. These odd but necessary systems play a major role in maintaining cosmic structure. Without these mechanisms, our solar community would be a far more turbulent realm. Things like Pluto could collide with others or be thrown out entirely, causing domino effects with other things in the night sky. Especially concerning Pluto and its future interactions with Neptune, it is essential to comprehend its motion. This offers a sharper image of the vibrant and ever-shifting nature of the planet's cluster. Pluto's example illustrates how paths that appear to be unstable can lead to equilibrium through intricate gravitational interactions and motion. It also emphasizes the necessity of ongoing observation and examination of such oddities to better understand our position in the cosmos. Deep exploration of the outer worlds frequently forces us to confront the bizarre characteristics of heavenly bodies. Additionally, Pluto's orbit is a flawless instance of this anomaly. The concept of orbital disorder, which refers to the sensitive dependence of orbits on starting data, is clearly visible here. For Pluto, this suggests that minimal alterations in its coordinates or speed could greatly influence its far future pathway. Utilizing computer-based forecasting has been very advantageous for students working in space to decipher Pluto's actions. These applications use complex equations to simulate how Neptune, Pluto, and other bodies gravitationally interact. By changing small details in these forecasts, scientists are able to observe how the smallest changes can result in completely different destinations. In the late 1980s, these surprisingly digital models revealed a trait about Pluto. Though it has stabilizing mechanisms like asynchronous orbital drift and oscillation, its journey may still exhibit abnormal behavior. If Pluto begins with just a tiny disparity in location or speed, its future position may appear vastly changed in just a few years. Yet, despite this erratic nature, Pluto's path has remained constant throughout huge stretches of time billions of years. That means Pluto's path has an underlying consistency, even though it may appear unruly at first glance. 
Predicting stellar orbits, particularly ones as inconsistent as Pluto's, remains an enormous task. The core unpredictability of these systems results in far-off predictions that are rife with unknowns. Even though mathematical models are excellent at decoding and estimating the movement of the universe, they also emphasize our limitations. These formulas heavily rely on initial values, and even the tiniest error or modification can significantly change the outcome, making true pinpoint precision a challenge. Beyond the erratic tendencies, Pluto emphasizes that planetary pathways are in constant change and development within the universe. Even though humanity has uncovered a wealth of information about Pluto's oddities, the stars remind us how much is still hidden from view. Deciphering how massive planets alter the movements of Pluto grants us a broader awareness of solar system behavior. It shows how each planet's presence and place can have a significant impact on the stability and direction of others within the framework. So, why do astronomers suddenly speak with anxiety about a possible smash-up between Neptune and Pluto despite the cosmic laws in place to stop it? Neil deGrasse Tyson, a well-known space scholar and a major advocate for cosmic knowledge, provides a distinct perspective on our planet's mysteries, in particular the peculiar tale of Pluto. Tyson, well known for his efforts to lower Pluto's status to dwarf status, makes it easier to see thoughts on the shifting principles of orbital research and the general public's fascination with overlooked areas of the heavens. How he feels about Pluto's label reflects the fact that we are constantly improving our understanding of the solar neighborhood. He views the shift not as a slur but as a critical correction to our grasp of objects revolving around our savior. Tyson's outlook on orbital physics places an emphasis on ongoing education and adaptability. He interprets difficult trajectories, such as Pluto's, as a sign of how much there is still to uncover. The enigma of such inquiries maintains astronomy's excitement. However, despite Tyson's optimism, his outlook on the possibility of a Pluto-Neptune collision is significantly more glum. His apprehension about Pluto's destiny, once a full-fledged planet, has its roots in acknowledgement of the unpredictable behavior of these orbital dances. He admits that, whereas Pluto has remained secure so far, small changes accumulating over time can bring about terrible things. Pluto's trajectory, particularly its overlapping zone with Neptune, forms a complex rhythm in space that might not forever remain in sync. Within Tyson's perspective, even a minuscule disruption in Pluto's path could result in huge repercussions. If these disparities expand over millennia, they could eventually lead to disorder or even a crash of the planet. But such a development would not occur anytime soon. Instead, it would extend over inconceivable lengths of time well beyond the reach of human civilization. Still, Tyson's hesitant tone calls for more vigilance and more in-depth research into Pluto's orbital pattern. Tyson isn't standing alone. Michio Kaku, also a well-known theoretical physicist, perceives the changes in the sky that could result from interstellar interactions. Although Kaku matches Tyson's admiration for the universe, he also acknowledges the unstable balance of planetary orbits and the wild, unanticipated outcomes that may occur with time. Tyson and Kaku both emphasize the requirement of constant space investigation of the unnoticed powers dictating planetary drift and the outlook for our family bound for space. In the final point, Pluto's predicament shows how our comprehension of the universe is fluid, constantly adjusting. Each advancement breeds more suspense. As space science advances, the possible collision between Pluto and Neptune serves as a humble reminder. Outer space is filled with unexpected turns, and even peaceful planetary paths can change significantly over time. These lessons from Pluto serve to encourage us to ponder the skies incessantly, concerning the secrets that the stars hold.